हेलो एवरीवन ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल बानेर पुणे आई एम डॉक्टर करण चंचलानी अ रेडिएशन ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट एंड अ न्यूरो ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एन इंटरेस्टिंग केस ऑफ मेडुलो ब्लास्टोमा व्हिच इज अ चाइल्डहुड ब्रेन ट्यूमर सो पीडियाट्रिक ब्रेन ट्यूमर्स और चाइल्डहुड ब्रेन ट्यूमर्स आर पोज अ डिफिकल्ट चैलेंज इन द ट्रीटमेंट Uh, these tumors typically have a propensity to uh, spread not just uh, locally uh, they also spread along the entire neuro axis so they can spread from brain to the spinal cord or to the other areas of the brain uh, they are also uh, it is difficult to treat uh, these because uh, the, it, uh, they arise in a growing uh, age or a growing brain uh, in which uh, if, uh, any treatments may actually cause Uh, further damage to the uh, growth of the brain and we need to take care of, uh, uh, of the long term consequences of the treatment so uh, coming specifically to this case this was a 6 year old uh, male child who presented with a small uh, uh, mass inside so he presented with headaches and uh, vomitings and then little imbalance an mri was done wherein it, he had a mass inside the posterior side of the brain Uh, the cerebellar region and uh, it it was uh, radiologically very uh, conclusive of a medulloblastoma so he was stabilized and then uh, in the pediatric intensivist and the neuro team were involved and uh, contemplated for a neurosurgery uh, so typically the surgery for these cases is maximal safe resection so uh, looking at the images it was uh, apparent that the child had probably a uh, long standing growth and it had it, it was very uh, close to the brain stem maybe probably uh, it appeared like infiltrating the brain stem also but nevertheless the with uh, with uh, advanced techniques the neurosurgeons were able to uh, remove that tumor completely and we uh, subjected the tumor uh, specimen for uh, surgical pathology and it confirmed medulloblastoma uh, classical uh, variant along with that we uh, did certain molecular tests uh, to a certain the molecular profile of these tumors so these days it is classified as uh, uh, wind pathway Uh, so there are various pathways which have a very uh, different prognosis so our patient had a favorable pathway called as wind pathway and we could uh, uh, based on the comp- uh, near complete resection that was done and the other assessment on mri and uh, uh, csf uh, studies we could ascertain that this patient was of a low risk or a average risk uh, medulloblastoma that had been uh, resected completely so we planned uh, 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 cranio spinal radiation so we need to treat the entire neuro axis in the first phase for uh, the for the initial treatment and then later on plan a focal boost of radiation to the area where the tumor had arisen so since it was a low risk or average risk uh, medulloblastoma with a favorable uh, profile on molecular studies we we decided to go with uh, uh, low dose csi that is low dose of radiation to the entire neuro axis from brain to spine and uh, the remaining dose was just boosted on the uh, tumor and uh, total it took around 6 weeks to complete the uh, radiation and along with that we had to deliver uh, concurrent chemotherapy as well as uh, uh, some cycles of chemotherapy after the radiation the main challenge over here is to reduce the doses to the rest of the structures while treating such a large volume so your eyes your oral cavity thyroid the entire body structures uh, have received some dose of the radiation we have uh, one of the few centers wherein we uh, treat with uh, these type of cases with a volumetric approach rather than uh, the conventional field setup approach uh because conventional field uh, radiations used to have uh, f- problems with field junction matching and all so that is why we have uh, adopted a completely volumetric uh, approach with uh, 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 latest advanced linear accelerator and that is how we could uh, reduce the doses to the subsequent structures image guidance was used for uh, matching the Uh, the target volumes before treatment each day 
and uh, during the CSI as well as the focal boost uh, uh, area and this child completed his treatment with hardly any uh, toxicities. One of the most dreaded toxicities for these uh, children is in the acute setting is the, uh, uh, the fall in the blood counts or neutropenias. So this child had hardly any uh, uh, sub, uh, neutropenias or any support required. Uh, additionally, the doses to the ear, to the eyes were very low and uh, he's on follow-up. Uh, so now, so far he has not developed any of the toxicities and we hope that uh, this child continues to uh, uh, remain healthy. Usually these type of tumors have an excellent prognosis with almost up to 80 to 90 percent five year survival. So we just hope that this kid also uh, enjoys such a good uh, prognosis. Thank you.